Welcome guys, welcome to this video. So for the local server, we are going to use localwp.com application. This is a very fast, way better than ZAMP. So you can download it, it's totally free. And also we are going to use text editor as Visual Studio. So you can download it as well. So we can download for Windows, Mac, OS, and Linux. So it's up to you totally. For the local, you can click on download for free. You need to select your operating system. You need to provide these details when when you click get now you're going to get the file for your system i have this file already with me so i'm going to open it up it's here so i'm just going to put it into applications all right it's there now i'm going to open it so here is the uh, application once installed you just need to click on here you here it's going to ask for what is your site's name so in local host what you want your site to be called so let's say we want our site to be called uh practice all right then you go to advanced here it's saying where exactly this directory going to place the files so you can have any directory created so i'm going to select practice now we have practice.local, you can call it anything you like. This is something that you will be putting into the URL to open your website. So here I can say, even say .com or .app, whatever you prefer. So if, let's, let's put it .com, so practice.com. And once it is done, you just click continue. Now preferred is good. So it's just going to be PHP version and MySQL versions, so continue. A uh, username, the username you're going to use to log in into WP admin area. So here I'm going to set root and the password I want it to be one, two, three, four, five. And here the email, I, I don't want to change it, it doesn't matter. So the rest of the settings remain the same. Maybe we need to get add site. Now I just need to fetch the require services it is going to download the wordpress for us and it's going to set it up all here now it's going to ask your system password so you be ready for it now if you want to change the php version you can do that we can yeah, do that too yeah, i'm going to use the latest php version which is 8.0 so i'm going to click apply as well as i want to use apache as a web server so i'm going to click apply on that too apply changes we have the latest PHP version now, which is uh, 8.0. So now we have the admin area and open site these two links here. So if I click here, it is going to take me to uh, the site. If your default browser is a different one, then you can put in here. So we have our uh, site up here. Whatever the uh, URL you said, just the WB admin afterwards so we have we set the password as root and uh, sorry the username was root and the password is one two three four five so I'm just gonna log into that so we are in the admin area now and here we're using the latest theme uh, if I go to the appearance themes we have 21 theme here which is currently set so we are going to create our own theme now. So what do we need to do? We need to go into the directory that we set in local. So what do we do? I am going to open the practice and there we have the files. So here app, public, and then we have the, our WordPress setup. The complete WordPress files are here. Inside WP content themes, we have the themes present. The themes are being used here. So the theme you want to create, you can create here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a folder here. And we're going to call it practice again, this theme. Now I want Visual Studio to open and here it is. So I want to open this folder in our Visual Studio code. So I say open and here practice app public uh, WP content themes and then practice. So I'm gonna select this one and I select this one so we have this folder open. So if I create a file here, I call it index.php uh, and uh, if we go to the finder and inside practice, you will see the file is present here. 
What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna minimize this and we are going to create files straight from here from our Visual Studio. And here, what I wanna do, I want to create a styles.css. So when you have these two files in your directory and the folder and you go to the themes, you see the theme with the name of your folder, the directory you created. And if you click theme details, we don't have currently any details set. So to set the details, um, my, we need to go into styles, style.css. Here we're going to write a comment. And this comment is going to be so we have here these comments now. So if I go to the browser here, refresh, we have the theme name practice version 1.0 user menu. If I click on this one, you can see on the left bottom corner, this is going to a link. So I can even go to the site and here is the custom theme that the description we gave. So here the site opened from the uh, by. So I close this. So we don't have the theme image. If you want to set a theme image, all you need to do, uh, let me show you if I go to the theme, our theme is here. And if I go to any of these themes, you will see a screenshot.png file. So we have a screenshot.png in here, and this is the file we need to place. So I have a file created. All you need to make sure that your file name is screenshot.png. So I'm going to paste it here. And now if I refresh, we should be having the image. So we have the image now. All right, now we can apply this theme. Now I have our custom theme is live. Now if I go to the uh, website and refresh, we have nothing so far. So we need to add some content. So, so for adding the post, we go into the uh, admin area. We have all posts here and then they add new posts. So here, if I click add new, we get the option. I'm just going to put some random content here so that we can have uh, our post testing data. You can put anything in between this content. So we, when you click here, you can select any content. You can set it to bold. You can make it the link if you want to. You have more options to align your content as well as you can set the custom font size. So for example, if I want to set this to some particular font size, so I can just, you know, uh, increase it here and it's going to be accordingly so that's what, what you can do in post we can create categories so we have categories here currently uncategorized so I'm going to add here a few categories so it's going to be general so that we have uh, and we also going to add technology and let's add one more WordPress allow us to save multiple category to a single post so you can do that so you can see that it's selected three categories I don't want to do that I just want to assign it to one so we can also define tags here so I just say here test content just to see when we are going to uh, work with the data so we need to have this content showing up there so we have a few uh, tags now one uh, category I publish this post and the same way we I'm going to add a few more posts behind the scenes so I added a few posts behind the scenes and I assign the categories if you notice in these posts I have two categories assigned and we're going to see how things work and how we can use multiple categories and display them so here in the front page we currently don't have anything so what we do we are going to go into code index.php and we are going to I show our posts so I'm opening the PHP tag here and we are going to loop through our posts so when we loop through the post we always check that if we have posts so we say if we have underscore posts this is a function from WordPress which is which checks if we have posts if you have posts then it is going to allow us to loop through that so we say have underscore posts now when we have posts we say the post and then we are going to say end while so we are going to end our while loop uh, condition so inside this we are going to use uh, the title so we can say here the underscore title and to show the content we use the function the underscore now save this I go to the front page and refresh 
you will see that we have the content showing up here so we have title as well as the content but it's not looking good so let's make it right so what do we need to do first of all if you notice we have this php loop we can break this php loop here and this is how you break it and you need to again start it here now here uh, the title we want it big so I'm gonna give you the h3 tag and inside this h3 tag we are going to use the uh, PHP tag again and here I'm going to just cut and paste this like that now for the content we want to put inside the p tag okay if we go here and refresh you will see that the content uh, is changing now we have h3 working here now we want to make it more good looking, it's not good looking good. So what we can do, we can use CSS in that case. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to wrap it inside a article tag and I will call it post. So this is an article. So each article is going to be inside its own loop. So we are going to put it's inside an article. All right, now what we can do, we can, uh, give the style to it now before doing anything because if when we work with wordpress we want to make sure we have the header and footer uh, because currently if i do anything in here in our style.css it's not going to work because if i say here let's say body and i say color red and you will notice that we have no changes in the page and here we saved it so to make it working we need to what do we need to do we need to uh, first use need to add the header now what header is it is going to add the header for the wordpress it allows us to include the css and javascript so it is required the same way we need to call get footer at the bottom save the file and refresh the page i missed the semicolon here be careful about that HP and uh, let's check about that now you can see that we have the color change we have a header on top and and we have a footer as well at the bottom if we say here practice is a proudly powered by WordPress so that's what it is happening currently so if I go here and I'm going to remove this refresh we have our content normal so what we want to do now I want to put this content in the middle. It's it's taking the whole area. We don't want that. We want it in the middle. So to do that, what we need to do, we need to put, we need to create a custom uh, header, this header, and custom footer, so that we can use it. So what we need to do here, I'm going to create two files. It's going to be .php, and another one is footer .php all right now as we created the custom files we won't see these anymore if i refresh the page you can see and even if we have a style so for example if i put the style back style won't work because the header file and footer files are empty so to make it work what we need to do we need to put some content here so in the header we use html5 so we have the HTML5 syntax here. So what I'm gonna do when we start the HTML syntax till the body, this is going to stay in the header and the closing body and closing HTML, we need to put in inside the footer like this. Now here, we are going to include a function just beneath the title and that's a WordPress function. It is WP underscore head. Of what this function is it is uh, going to include any CSS or JavaScript but requires to be included in the head it is going to include it for us so we can save this the same way we want to include a function in footer as well so it goes here and it's going to be WP footer now in header we are going to create a div so it's going to be a div with the class of container all right, and I'm going to close this container div in the footer. Okay, so it's going to be here. So it's going to wrap all the content. So anything we display goes inside this container div. 
and we can set the width to discontinuity. So currently, we don't have any CSS set to it. So what I do, I simply copy this and go here. I say container and margin going to be zero auto so that it stays in the center. And I go here and refresh. So currently we have, we got our header back. So we got our header back. So we want to put this content in the middle, but the styles are not getting included. So I'm going to show you how to include the styles so that we can work with it. So we need to create another files here. It is going to be functions.php. So this file is going to be responsible for including the CSS. So here I'm going to start the PHP tag. And this is the proper way to include CSS in uh, WordPress. So this is how you do it. So there is a function WP in Q. And here I'm going to say get style sheet underscore URI uh, WordPress. So we are going to say here add underscore action. And this we can set with WP and Q underscore scripts. And the second parameter going to be the function name that we had created here. So I'm just gonna copy this and gonna paste inside this like that. Alright. So this is going to include the CSS. And every time you write a function, functions.php, it is advisable you put a comment. So including style dot CSS into a thing. Okay, so let's see what happens. So I refresh the page. We have our content. It's in the middle as well as the color is red now. So what I want to do, I want to remove the color red because I just wanted to show you uh, this doesn't look good otherwise. So I'm just going to remove that. So here. Now we have our post showing up. I want to make these titles as a link so we can see each post by clicking on it. So for doing that, I go to index.php where we have our title h3 tag here. I'm going to create the anchor tag and I'm going to put the h3 tag inside it. I'm just gonna need to use the PHP tags again. So PHP, the closing PHP, and the function we're going to use is the underscore permalink. So once you save this, we go here, refresh the page, these are now links. So if I click any of these, you can go to that particular post. Uh, if I click back, we go to back home page. Now I want to have the site title and description so that we can click on it to go to home page. So here, what I do, I go to the header.php. Here I'm going to create a div. So I say div with the class of site, header with the class of site, title. All right, and here we need to use the PHP tags again. Now to display the site uh, title, we are going to put blog info. This is a WordPress function. All right, and that's it. Now we want it as a link as well, so that when we click, we go to home page. So here uh, we need to wrap it inside anchor tag. So now the function we are going to use is home underscore URL for this one and we need to echo this function so I'll echo so save this now if I go to the page here refresh we have the site title so if I go to any single post then I click on site title we come to home page now we I want so want the site description so what I can do simply I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put just below here and I want it to be edge for tag and here instead of name we get a description formatted good now if i go here we will see the site uh, description as well now if you want to change the site title or description you can go to the dashboard there in settings general there you have site title and tagline so here you can change the tagline and the title so uh, here if I say, all right, now I save this and we go to the browser and refresh, you can see that it updated. Hope you like this video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.